Air has been uh, leading the transplant programs in many cities of our countries. Primarily in Chennai, in our Muller Hospital, we've done hundreds of heart transplants. Similarly, in our Mulund Hospital in Mumbai, we've done again well beyond 100 heart transplants. In Delhi, two of our hospitals, Escorts and Fortis Memorial Research Institute in Gurgaon, are leaders as far as the program is concerned. Now, in our states or the northern states north of NCR, you know, the governments over the past few years have not been very forthcoming in helping private health care, uh, you know, start these cadaver programs uh, in the state. Of late, we were very fortunate in Fortis Mohali after many years of trying. We've got what is called an internal brain death committee, which is that when a patient is declared brain dead, internal doctors comprising of neurologists and neurosurgeons and internal medicine doctors are able to certify that the patient is actually brain dead. And post that, we are able to have certain counselors meet with the family and explore the possibility of seeing whether the, the family is willing to donate uh, any organs. This time, on the 30th of November, a 47-year-old businessman from Roper, who had had a sudden stroke, was brought to our hospital a day or two earlier. And, you know, on arrival, we knew that there is no chance of survival. He was declared brain dead. Very gingerly, we approached the family and asked them if they would be ready. And, you know, that gentleman's wife was the first one who said that if my organs can be of use to anybody, I am happy to donate the organs. And you will not understand the flurry of activity that starts over there. Uh, you know, the NOTO, ROTO, government agencies, everybody gets involved. And in today's times, you know, WhatsApp groups are available. People are able to put, you know, what are we harvesting? How are we going to proceed? So we thought this was a great opportunity for us to be able to do our first heart transplant. We've had a license for the last two years, but we didn't get an opportunity like the one we got at this point in time. So our doctors uh, swung into action. The two kidneys were used in our hospital for a patient. The heart was transplanted by Dr. Mahant and his team that is uh, you know, visible and sitting here with us. The liver was uh, you know, sent to Jaipur. Overnight, the people drove down from Jaipur, came here, took the liver, and next day, uh, rang us up to say that, thank you very much. We've been able to you know, save another human life. So this is uh, an amazing, uh, you know, uh, you know we, we've been involved in healthcare. You know, I have worked for 22 years, and you know, the gentlemen on my left, right, and around me have put in decades into healthcare. But today is unique for us because for the first time, you know, we are sitting here in front of you to say that a hospital north of Delhi, a private hospital, has been able to do a successful heart transplant. And we request you to carry this story only with one objective, so that people are encouraged to donate organs, and we are able to save more human lives. And the fact that our states of Punjab, Haryana, the Union Territory of Chandigarh, or for that matter, Himachal Pradesh, also come onto the map as far as transplants are concerned. You will all know, and these are all statistics, it's available everywhere. Tamil Nadu as a state has been leading for many, many years. People from our part of the country actually travel down and go to Tamil Nadu. They have to rent accommodation there. They stay there for six, eight, nine months, you know, waiting for their turn to come so that they are able to get a, receive an organ and get a transplant done. So it's a full one year exercise which people undergo. And if hospitals in our part of the country start these transplants, it is going to be a great service for people who, who, who can hope to live normal lives in due course. Now, before I go any further, I will very quickly show you a clip of our patient who has recovered. We are sending him home and we will introduce you to him shortly. But we made a little video for you to just see, you know, his process of recovery and what he has been through. We did the transplant on the 51-year-old recipient who we've seen in this video. Uh, another gentleman received two kidneys and the liver, like I said, was taken to Jaipur for a transplant. And... Uh, Dr. Mahant, uh, Dr. Jaswal, Dr. Sahu, Ambuj, Arun, Alok, all of them uh, was an integral team which swung into action to be able to 
to do this surgery. So if there are questions or anything, I mean, we'd be happy to answer. Sir, what would be the complications in procedure? Yeah, so, sir, Dr. Mand, any complications in procedure? Good afternoon. So far, we have not faced any major problem in this patient, though this was our first patient. And you know, this transplant uh, program, I must tell you a little bit background. This was my wish. That when I came back, long time back from um, Australia, there only few centers were doing it. But it was a routine. They used to, that time we were bringing heart from Melbourne and take them to Sydney and then transplants, and Sydney was the only place. That was my desire. And you would be, many of you may not have been born by that time. In India, there was a no brain death committee. You know, the, this certification of brain death. In our community, you know, in India, there is a, if heart is going, then how can be a person dead? If the heart is be, uh, functioning, that the person cannot be dead, right? So it took many, many years, even the, for the government to made uh, this legislation. They had to pass a legislation to declare that the person is a brain dead. The brain dead person is the one who can donate the organs. Because the heart will keep on pumping. You know, heart is just a pump. It will keep on functioning. So the, that means if a person is a brain dead, his organs can be taken out. He's just like, a, there's nothing left in the body apart from the other functioning organs. So these are the patients who are brain dead. You can take their heart. And the thing which you saw in the beginning, Mr. Bhatia showed you the reel, that people running around once you have taken out the heart, had to, you had to implant this heart within a very short period of four to five hours, especially when you have to bring the organ from the different other part of the body. Because if you keep this heart outside the body, it will become, it will also get damaged. And the maximum time period is five hours. You can, uh, even if uh, whatever method you do it for preservation, you have to implant into a body, it should start functioning within. So there is a time limit. That's why this green corridor is made. But uh, this time, this, this the brain dead patient, as Mr. Vatia said, was in our hospital itself. And we had a recipient. You had to have a potentially recipient in your, who are already ready to be implanted with the, the who need a heart. And this patient had, and you, we all know that heart transplant is only done if a person's own heart is almost gone. He had any, like this patient, he already had multiple uh, failed medical therapy. He had other form of therapy which are tried in a patient whose heart is weak. And the commonly these patients who have their heart is weak, these are the patient, young patient, relatively young patient, very because of muscle disease. Heart is bad, and these are the candidates who are potentially benefited by heart transplant. And when the other form of therapy they are gone, then this heart transplantation is done. It is technically, it is a demanding, but I think more than technical part, once you know how to transplant, you do many other complicated cardiac surgery. This is one of the complicated, but not as complicated. But it is the logistic, how to make this work, like, and a lot of team, like, uh, there is a, our coordinator, is a transplant coordinator, Dr. Alka is an anesthetist, other team of surgeons, cardiologists, anesthetists are involved in these ones. This is preparation of, for a very, very long period of time where this becomes, a, this facility becomes available. But I must tell you right in the beginning, that heart transplantation in other country is become a, like a routine accepted modality. But it is the problem of the organ transplant, availability of the organs, right? In, if you see the, if you transplant a patient with a healthy heart, your survival of this patient living for 10 years is about more than 60-70%, which is much, much better than patients suffering from advanced cancers or any person with a cancer treatment. So this is nowadays accepted mod, uh, mode of treatment in end-stage heart failure, where the heart is, uh, your own heart is uh, failed. And it is a, another big problem in our country also, the heart failure treatment. There are other modalities. If the other modality fails, then transplant comes into the view. But main problem in our country is also, like other country also, this organ availability, 
considering nowadays many centers in the country are doing transplant. But if you see the number of uh, transplant being done is much, much less in our country. And considering our area, when the national figures are projected, Punjab and our area is there at the bottom as far as the organ donation is concerned, as far as the transplant program is going on. So I think it, it hurts us when we go to the conferences, see meetings, only the Punjab, northern area is at the bottom. Why should it be? I think, so that way my request would be, especially media can play a big role. I know for last few years, it is people are now coming out with, this is especially, I think you people, media people, stimulating some function being organized on World Art Day or the other thing, where this awareness among people is created. I think we need a lot more to do so that people come forward to donate the organ. Uh, first of all, congratulations on this speech. Uh, by the way, I am from the media, all my friends know here. In the year 2007, I underwent a heart bypass, which was carried out by you, diagnosed by Dr. Jaswan, excellent job. And if you want to talk to me, I'll talk to you. So... Yeah, yeah, Dr. Jaswan. So, Dr. Jaswan, how is the patient doing now? And secondly, uh, what is the patient doing now? And secondly, do you plan to have a bank care or bank in the hospital? These are the two good questions I want to know. Firstly, I am very happy that you are asking me. So, the, so, the, sir, the patient now, will now what I will request each one of you is we are bringing the patient inside. So, the only request is to maintain the distance from the patient. So, we will bring the patient over here and I will request the entire heart transplant team to be at the back side so that you all can also take the photograph. Later on, you can, you know, take the questions from uh, the doctor's part. Please. Sir, I think if you come there. Are you, sir? Hold on. Sir.
नहीं सर हम समझते कुछ नहीं हैं ऐसे होता है की अगर बच्चों के अकाशार की जरूरत है तो वो ऑलमोस्ट एज मैच कर लीजिए बट कई बार क्या होता है थोड़ा चल पड़ता है ये डिपेंड करता है कि जैसे ही से फोर्टी सेवन फिफ्टी वन डोनर फोर्टी सेवन ये तो बिल्कुल ऑलमोस्ट होती है बहुत सारे डाइट में मैचिंग होनी चाहिए ब्लड ग्रुप ऐसा भी कुछ ब्लड ग्रुप काफ़ी सारे टेस्ट करते हैं ब्लड ग्रुप इस वहाँ से ब्लड ग्रुप तो है आपके पास कोई और रेसिपेंट भी था इसी से मैचिंग का इसके ये आपके ग्रुप आपके पास काफी सारे होते होंगे रिसर्च लिस्ट होती है ये वेबसाइट पे ऑलरेडी डाउन होती है जब मैच करते हैं सर आपके सेंट्री के साथ ये जैसे इन पेशेंट को रिक्वायरमेंट थी ट्रांसप्लांट तो आपको कैसे आती है इसकी रिक्वेस्ट कैसे आती है नहीं ये तो ग्रुप बना होता है ये नोटो रोटो हमारे जो भी है उसमें जहां भी अवेलेबल होगा ऑर्गन जहां भी पोटेंशियल ऑर्गन होगा दे विल सेंड इट ऑन द व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप so if you have a patient who is ready already ready already match already same blood group then we will see ki kitne door hai suppose koi far off hai jaise wo punjab se aaye na to abhi chandigarh mein near by aur bhi bade sare patients ne aapko apply kiya hoga but the inka group same tha jo hame mila hai jo so aapne unko approach kiya ki aap aa jaiye ha ha unko pehle hi bata ke rakhte hain ki aapko kisi waqt bhi bula sakte hain par ye abhi in patient hai ya opd pe aagi ye abhi बस हम इनको भेज ही रहे थे बिकॉज वे दी बीन द फर्स्ट पेशन एक्स्ट्रा प्रिकॉशन अगर कोई प्रॉब्लम ना हो तो कैन बी डिस्चार्ज लाइक ए नॉर्मल बाईपास जो भी उसको फिर प्रोसेस में डाल दो बैंक होते पेशेंट को जाने दें